Hello and welcome to The Room. It's a, a game jam I worked on. We made this game. Uh, this is the tutorial slash first level. It just teaches you simple mechanics, as in you can jump, you can move around. Oops, I don't want to pull off this. This is a moving platform, one of the ways you can finish this level. And to finish the level, you want to take a key, just that here, and you want to take it to that door. Just take it. There are two ways you can finish this level. You can um, use these bobbing clouds from parkour you know, to there, uh, or you can just take that moving platform. There is an invisible wall here, so you can't just you know, run at it straight away. That's the first level. This is the second level. The previous one was a unicorn theme. This is a sort of action labyrinth theme. It's called Chasing Ghost. Um, you, you, I didn't explain this, but you can pick up a ball, which you need for this. Uh, I gotta grab that. Um, yeah, you can pick up with E, you can throw by holding click, or just placement, you know, tapping. Uh, which can place in here. Uh, and this guy, he chases you. If he, if you touch him, it'll just restart the level. Like, completely. So, it, it's not that bad if you die, but, you know, it is, a uh, bit of a pain. So, you saw there, I grabbed the key. I need to grab another key, which is just over here. It's under there. And, you know, now I need to get to the door, which should be just over here. There are a lot of different paths you can take in this game. There's even, like, a top level, uh, which I didn't show, but it's meant to be a secret. Sure. Uh, and that's the end of that level. This is the third and final level by far the hardest. There is an enemy in this level. Uh, you won't be able to see him until a little bit later. Uh, it's Slenderman, and he runs on sort of a Weeping Angel script. So what I mean by that is uh, he will uh, walk towards you if you're not looking at him. So you can't see him running at you until, until you get too close. Then obviously he'll just sort of come towards you. Otherwise, he, you just sort of stare at him and he won't do anything. But Usually spawns just down that path. Uh, the key is up here in a second, right up there. Uh, I'm zooming it by right clicking, by the way. Um, and yeah, the music will change if I get too close to him. You'll see it might change soon when I'm coming up here. Because right now you've got like this ambient, tense music, and it'll be a little bit more, a little bit more, I don't know, high pitched, I guess, when he comes closer. coming here right there he is all right let's grab the key this level only has one key like the first level there it's restarting because i got our range one back in there he is you can see him sort of standing there he won't move unless i'm not looking at him i'll quickly demonstrate that by you can see him I'll look away there he is just to make sure you can see that See, uh, okay, I don't want to let him get too close because he will come towards me. Let's see if I can position him somewhere where I can walk around him. Also, he is significantly faster than the player, so you can't run from him, essentially. You have to abuse the, the fact you can stare at him. Let's try and stay out of his range. That was the, uh, the tense music going. Oh, there he is turning around. <laughs> Not happy about me looking away. Ooh. He can and will run through the forest, and you know he, he will just pop out of a bush if I'm not careful. So there's that. I I don't want to experience that because he does move fast, and if he sees me, I will die. Which will just restart the level, by the way. So there's not like a little uh, live system in this game. It just, just resets the level. Here's the door. Let's see if I can get there before he gets me. Should be just in the tree somewhere there. Alright. And that's the end of the level. Uh, and end of game, even. As you can see here, you can change. You, you can replay a level. I might just click. Let's see. Two again. Yeah, I'm here. 
everything's playable. And uh, thank you for watching. This was The Room with Christian.